Hello, my name is Johan, and I'm a South African sysadmin in Russia. And today we're going to look at KDE Plasma 5.10 Beta. It was released on the 15th of May, and here's the release notes. Let's quickly scroll through together. As you can see, they've done many things in this new upcoming release of 5.10 and the beta gives us a nice idea of what's happening and we will look for it together soon in a VM as you can see it's audio stuff touchscreen support improved Wayland we are working with the future which is quite nice because Wayland seems to be the future it's plain sec selection, more options, bundle packages so yeah, so we will look in a moment at all of these things and play together and then if you go yet, if you want to download KDE and Neon with I will use, I will use a dev edition you can get it from here let us the, the index is it's exactly the same, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then you can read here, it's been released. And yeah, it's very nice. So let's get moving. Here you can check out more of the apps. But let's not talk too much about the amazing website, but let's look at the VM and let's look at KDE, Eon, KDE Plasma 5.10. Sorry, I was a bit um, too much amazed by the website. <laughs> so, here's the listeners again, that we can look at it together. First of all, let's look at the panel task manager. I don't have a middle mouse click because I'm using a notebook, but let's try to group some terminals together. So let's go to terminal and let's open up a few. And let's for more actions. Untick this box and tick this box and you will see all the terminals come together. It's quite nice. And you can undo it just like this. I like it. I think it's quite a neat deal. Unfortunately, as I said, I don't have a mouse so I can't try this out, but it's very cool. And they say we can like place this jumps list accents for manager losses. Let's quickly pin our power manager to the stars manager. And if you are here, you right click on the icon, this home network route. Very cool. Very easy to navigate in the file manager from your task manager. This is very cool. And the icon size in the virtual task manager is now configurable to support more common vertical panel using patterns. I'm not exactly sure what it means. I would love to know what it means, but I don't really know how to show it you because I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> but if you know, please, please tell me that when KDE 5.10 is released, I would love to focus on that also. Improve app identification and pinning in Task Manager. It relies on. So let's, as we already tried to pin this one and it worked beautifully. It's quite good. So let's click on the office and add the task manager. It's very smooth. Love it. 
in the fantastic. So let's move on now to the further view. Then what's different from 5.9 and which I really, really, really enjoy about the farm manager is that you can add icons now and for this to the desktop. It's not as easy as you can see, but let's say you want to say create. Oh, there we go. Create new. I wonder why I wasn't at the beginning, but in any case, let's say folder test 101. And we can just over it over and we see all the options available here. Isn't this cool? You can just move it in the templates. That is so smart. We move it here and there we can see it flashy, nicely. They must closer to one another. So there's much more space to add icons, folders. Then made them a bit closer to one another to a small space that did so much work on this. So it's awesome. Let's continue to look here quickly. We just looked spacing tighter, improve mouse behavior, folder view, random user interface, improved large folders, better memory, bugs, fixes, folder view, copy move link, we saw it just there, and the results which is in the desktop are dragging on the edges, moving the Nice, so let's just quickly look at our file system one more time. As you can see that it's quite a lot of the file system. And this still looks normal, but it is. It is. Ah, oh, I should have looked here. But there's some nice settings there. About Dolphin. It's 17.7, .7, so it's the latest, the greatest. But let's. And some widgets, they say the widgets you can like minim make them smaller and bigger. I want to see that. So let's get like a system monitor widget. You can just see how much memory I'm actually using. And let's see. Very cool. It's really movable. So yeah, the folder view is awesome. So let's look now at all the new features. And as you can see, yes, a lot. And that is just some of them. Here's a sample. Media controls on lock screen. So let's play something. As I said, I am in Russia. That's where all these things is in Russia. But let's, in case, play this. Uh, if we click here, we can mute it, it's quite nice, and then also, of course, on the volume applications, it can also be unmuted, and if you lock the screen, It's a power button here, but I don't see what I said about the locking screen. That's quite a pity. Oh well. I would love to have seen that, but maybe it doesn't work for YouTube. Because it's music. Ah. 
sort for center. Suggest us to in some non install apps to install, which is quite nice. So let's have a look. Let's wait for it to open up. <laughs> and let's say KDE in life. A great video editor with some using all the time. And it found it a package which isn't installed yet on a computer. It is expected it's like it should be. <laughs> but it's cool that they got it. And far copying notifications have a content menu on previews. Like I don't have any big folders on this computer. So I can't really show it to you. I'm sorry. Um, improved plasma window. Applets. Default minimum size etc. I'm just reading through these things. Um, performance page and task manager. So it got better. Often use documented apps in in launcher in addition to recently used. So it just shows what we used in the past in documents and folders. Which is quite cool. I like it. It's ex expected. Panel icons. You go to the system settings. Let's go to the system settings. Icons. Advanced. Panel size. And we can make the panel first put it to 16. Apply. Quite nice. You can actually do it. Passwords for network authentication, very good. Security of the lock screen. Got some work on, it's nice. It's bug fixes in, in Windows Manager, support for locking and unlocking the cell from the startup script, and audio volume, vo uh, volume applet. As in the menu, we looked at it when we played the YouTube, so we just read for the stuff. Touch screen, I don't have a touch screen, so I can't show it to you. Wayland has improved, and let's look at the splash screen selection. Let's go back to system settings. And I guess we can just stop in splash. Play screen, yeah, there we go. Let's click on this one. Play screen. And I don't see... Maybe it's not yet here in this version to add space screens. This is weird. Because I really don't see what they're talking about here. Good space. Maybe we start in good place. Maybe I was just at the wrong place. Yes, that's my silly mistakes. <laughs> Most of the time when something doesn't work is my silly mistakes. So let's just wait for the data to load. And yes, we can have an episode. Why? 
Y es tan sorprendente. Linux Mint, oh, oh. Listo. That's quite good. If it's gonna work. So, bundle packages. Scava software. Support GNOME. Awesome. So it's just software coming in packages. And yeah, that's basically it. After this will be installed, this basically was new in KDE Plasma 5.10 beta. As we can just quickly really look for everything, yes. All these icons, yes. Screen settings, all the familiar goodness is still here. System settings we saw is still the beautiful applications. All the other things are still here, it looks beautiful. And yeah, it's smooth and ready to go. Yeah, you're still waiting for this theme to install. So I'm gonna fast forward this video right now until the installation is finished. Oh no, it ran into an error. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but yeah, it's basically enough for today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.